NBC3 Sports is sponsored by Graves Brothers Home Improvement. The day that high school athletes across New York have been waiting for is finally here, Spring State Championships. Good evening and welcome to sports. I'm Ashley Winskowski. Let's start with the champs. Cicero North Syracuse girls lacrosse wins its first state title in nearly 30 years. Now the North Stars would have to dethrone last year's Class A champs Fairport to do it. And CNS came out firing. They were ready. Back-to-back -back goals from Elizabeth Smith and Marissa Doty gave them a 2-0 lead after just a minute of play. CNS fans excited. Hot start. Fairport tied it up at five, but a Kaylin Reed goal gives CNS a six to five lead at the halftime break. Things all tied up at seven throughout the third, but in the fourth quarter, CNS just showed how much they wanted this. The North Stars hit the gas pedal and rattle off three straight goals. CNS wins it 12 to eight to win the program's first title since 1996. They finished the year with a 19 and two record and the North Stars say that they played their game. I mean, we always say we're a big machine and all the pieces kind of got to click together and start moving and then you're kind of unstoppable and that's what we started to do towards the end and pick up. We did, uh, kept composure and played our game. I have goosebumps being back here with this team 27 years later and they just they just had a dream and they, they made it happen. Coach Brent is a state champ in the 1995-96 CNS teams. How cool is that? Over to Class B, West Jenny looking to knock off two-time defending champs Victor. Sophia Lawrence nets one of her four goals on the day, but this was Victor's game from start to finish. Victor wins it 16-8, but the Wildcats a young team, mostly sophomores and juniors, so they'll be back next season. Earlier today, South Jefferson locked in a defensive battle with Long Island's Cold Spring Harbor, the top ranked team in Class D. This was a one score game into the third period. Lily Morrison with two goals for the Spartans. But Cold Spring Harbor pulls away to win it 12 to 5. The best season in program history for South Jefferson falls just short of a title. Over to the boys' side of the ball on Long Island, Marcellus might have a little bit of deja vu. The Mustangs looking for some revenge in a rematch of last year's title game with Cold Spring Harbor, but they fell just short despite a fourth quarter surge. Chris Sashna and Jimmy Cox had two goals apiece for Marcellus, and goalie Quentin Polkowski had 10 saves. Jamesville DeWitt taking on Bayport Blue Point in the Class C final. This one tight into halftime. Luke Patchen makes it a one score game and it stays within one into the third. But Bayport exploded in the fourth quarter. Sam Brazell nets the final goal of the season there for the Red Rams. They fall 13 to 6. And the Belmont Stakes took place today just down the road over in Saratoga Springs. Three different Triple Crown races, three different winners this year. Dornick defied 17 to 1 odds to win it. And fun fact, that horse is owned by former MLB player Jason Wirth. And back to high school, the outdoor track and field championships were also going on today over at CNS. Liverpool's 4x100 meter relay team right behind me here of Nala, Maddie, Michaela and Mia. They placed third in the state and set the Section 3 record. That's all in sports. Back to you, Sam. All right, thank you, Ashley. Let's head outside to Josh for a final check on the forecast. All right, Sam, the hood's back up. Sprinkles like.